Welcome back everyone. Tomorrow is National Dog Day and we love any reason to celebrate dogs. It happens to fall around the same time, of course, as we go back to school, which is perfect because there's a lot to consider when it comes to leaving your pets as we get ready to go back to school and work. This morning we're so happy to have Heather Woodruff and Rachel Sheridan from Camp Bow Wow in St. Clair Shores. And who is this sweet puppy? This is Ralph. He's one of our campers. He looks like a Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great name, isn't it? He's yeah. so chill. Oh, I just love him. So talk to us about Camp Bow Wow and what you guys do. So Camp Bow Wow, we have uh, multiple services there. We have daycare, boarding, we have in-home pet sitting, as well as training opportunities um, that are available for your dog. Yes. And how long have you guys been around? I mean, you guys have been doing this for a while. Yeah, our camp itself has been around and in place a little over 10 years. We celebrated our 10 year anniversary this year. Um, the franchise itself has been in place closer to, to um, you know, between 12 and 15 years. I'm forgetting the number exactly, but yeah, they're right in there. Um, and they've got quite a few across the country so far. That's wonderful. And so when you think about, you know, going back to school and work, we've had a few months now that we've, we've perhaps spent a little more time at home, you know, with, with our pets. What are some of the things that we should consider as we get ready to kind of make that transition? Um, as you make the transition of going into school or back to work, um, you want to make sure that your dog's still getting um, a, the good amount of exercise, mm -hmm. um, whether that's continuing to take them for walks daily. Um, you can do um, daycare, like several of our campers come in for daycare, well, they'll get at least six to eight hours of playtime a day. Um, you can also work on mental stimulation, which um, if you do 10 minutes of mental stimulation a day, it's like 30 minutes of physical activity for them. So even working on um, some of their tricks or training with them um, really tires them out. And you know, it's just a good thing to kind of even think about this in advance, right? And perhaps create a plan. Yeah, absolutely. So dogs do really well when they have a schedule. Mm -hmm. um, so anytime you can provide that to them, it's a wonderful thing that you can do. So as people's schedules are changing and the dogs are kind of feeling that change, the camp is great if you are, if the dog's used to going for a walk, let's say at noon, yeah. you can bring them to daycare and we can make sure that they are provided with exercise during that time. Thank you so much. Right. We're running out of time, but we're going to make sure yeah. we have all the information on our website. We'll be right back.